guys, are you here? And today, the video that you're about to watch is just me kind of talking slash ranting slash just um, talking about what I've been kind of thinking about and doing the last couple of years with the live stream, why I'm doing what I'm doing, why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it, um, and kind of just what's kind of inside my head. So I hope you guys enjoy a little different type of content here. Um, just kind of free speaking to the stream for whatever 20 30 minutes So if you guys enjoyed this definitely be sure to let me know if you guys like stuff like this um, Down below in the comments and if you didn't enjoy it also let me know down below in the comments, but enjoy the video Why don't you do videos on skill capped? I don't know I don't like the uh, I, I, I love skill capped I think they make great videos and I, I used to watch them in the past when I was getting good so um, if you want to subscribe to Skillcap, I think that's fine. But me personally, I don't like the business model of putting a money gate on a video and having people pay to watch the video. I much prefer the, the, the model of putting out the video for free on YouTube and having 20 times the amount of people that get to watch the video. And in return for the 20 times the amount of people to watch the video, well, you, you put it up for free so you don't make any money really. But you're gaining long-term uh, personal brand equity right and then from there people kind of come to the stream and say hey i liked your guide that you put up for free onto youtube here's a sub or here's five bucks or um you know maybe that doesn't happen but hey look then we help people out and then you know two years later when i put out a fucking t-shirt and someone wants to buy the t-shirt they're like hey look sorry you put out a t-shirt i'm gonna go buy i'm gonna go support him because he fucking put out 693 free videos over the past few years and I've watched every single one of them. I want to support this guy So I just think it's a cooler business model to like push it out for free on the internet Have people enjoy it get value out of it And then for the people that want to support and that are in the position to support then they can and then if not Then that's totally fine too instead of getting paid per video having 20 times less people benefiting from that same video and then getting paid a flat rate It's a short-term play versus long-term Hundred dollars from Levo89. I watch your videos. Here's some. Here's some sport. Thank you so much, man. You're fucking crazy. Just to clarify, though, I I don't want anyone to feel as if they have to support because you, like, actually, I don't expect support from anybody, right? I, I I fucking I would do it. I mean, as long as I can fucking survive, whatever. But I would I would do it for for like, I I. What I don't want is a bunch of like pity donations or subs. That's not what I want, right? I want, th which I'm not saying that's what this was. I'm saying I don't want people to spam donate because they like to like, because they feel inclined to. I don't want that. Thank you, Levo89, for the donation. You're fucking insane. I appreciate it a lot. That's fucking insane, bro. Um, yeah. I mean, that's why when people type in the chat saying like, "Sorry, I can't sub," like I don't, I don't expect. I don't, I don't expect people to... I, I expect, I expect it's like zero, right? I expect fucking nothing. So when someone subs, it's fucking awesome. But I, when someone says, sorry, I can't sub, like, I don't, I don't, I don't actually like understand or like, oh, I, I, I didn't get paid enough. I, I have to cancel my sub. I'm sorry. Like, no, dude, like, don't feel sorry. Like if you can't support, don't feel sorry. That's totally fucking, we're chilling, right? But leave 89, man. Fucking crazy. Fucking, fucking crazy. <laughs> Sorry, I can't sub. Sad face. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. I love watching Billy Web but requiring subscription past VODs really puts me off. Well, that's just... Okay, I... That's just my way of doing things. I like to give out free content and build a brand. And then the people that are in the position to support can choose to. If someone, if another, you know, one of your favorite streamers has fucking, he puts out content and it requires you to pay for it. Like that's their choice, man. Like I'm not gonna fucking judge someone else for what they're doing. That's cool if they want to do that. I, there's no one right way to do things here. Right? No one right way to do things here. Uh, yo, Gally Canna with the sub. Thank you, man. Welcome to the family. Give him some hell yes in the chat. Really, really appreciate it. 63 subs um, tonight. 63 fucking subs tonight, that's crazy. Fucking crazy, crazy. 
heard you wanted a sub. That's okay. No, stop. <laughs> the czar, the biggest bomb. Stop. No, that's not. Fuck. No, pipe it down, man. Thank you. Uh, yo, Nima Games, Twitch Primin, welcome to the family. Thank you so much for Twitch Prime. I'm ca okay, you're kidding. Okay, and I thought you were serious for a second. I'm like, fuck, man. <laughs> Shit. Uh, yo, 64 subs tonight. Thank you so much, guys. Um. Yeah. You still play with Razor Death? I don't playing with the Ultralight Phantom right now. The uh, Final Mouse. Yo, what up, Robert? Let's go. Um, the Czar, the biggest bomb. Yo, 30 Magic 94 Twitch Prime. And thank you, 30 Magic. I fucking appreciate it, dude. Thanks for all Twitch Primes, boys. Give them some hell yes. 65 subs tonight. Oh. Is there any way to go back further to clip? Um, you have to go to the VOD and then clip it. Um, Darken. Fastest current stream on Twitch. I don't know about that one, but dude, the stream's been doing so well the past six months. It's crazy. Or the past couple months, it's crazy, Alvin. Super fucking grateful. I was thinking, um, uh, so the other day I, I was on Amaz's Twitter, Amaz the Hearthstone streamer, if you guys don't know him, and he, he tweeted saying, you know, I wish I could play WoW and stream WoW for a living or for, for uh, whatever. And, you know, and he could, right? Because he's, he's a live streamer, but he was basically the saying, Zon, like, the biggest his Hearthstone streams do a lot better or whatever. Um, but anyway, he, he was saying, I wish I could stream WoW for a living. And it, it, this was like two, three days, like yesterday or two days ago or something. And it, it just really like, to me, put in perspective, I'm fucking playing WoW for a living. Like, and... Whatever, one or two days ago, I I was just overwhelmed with like, I, I just felt so fucking grateful. Like like the whole fuck, like just like looking around. Like I swear, I was like walking out to my car, just looking at the sky. Like what the fuck? Like am I in some fucking simulation right now? Like like what? Is, like what? I'm so fucking like lucky, fucking blessed, fucking grateful. Like to be in the position I'm in, it's just not even fucking real. Like I was just like. Wow, fucking listening to the birds chirp and shit, like just having like a fucking moment, dude. It was insane. I don't know. Fucking crazy, man. It's all because you guys, too. Nuts. Fucking nuts. Yo, Scuzz, six months subbing. He says, let's go with the heart. Thank you, Scuzz. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Give him some hell yes in the chat, making it 66 subs on the night. Thanks so much, guys. I don't know, this past like year or two has just been so fucking crazy, you know? Like, 2016, I graduate from college with a business CIS degree. I have maybe one or two job offers that I could potentially take that at the, at the time would have paid a lot more than streaming, you know? A lot more, double, at least, maybe. And, you know, my, my fucking, my grandma or my family or like, you know, these, these people in my life, just like, well, well, my parents are really great, they're, they're supportive, but like other people just like, yeah, of course, fucking take the job, you know, whatever. But like, I, I had this fucking like, sit down with myself, like, I'm in this position on Twitch, 2016 Twitch, you know, didn't blow up, wasn't nearly the same as 2019 Twitch. But like, if I'm ever gonna do something with this, with this gaming thing, or with this fucking Twitch space, like, the time is fucking now. You know what I mean? Like, my shot is now. Like, what am I gonna do? Like, I'm 20, I'm 25 now. What am I gonna do? Like, oh, I'm just gonna work a normal job till I'm 30 and then, like, try to restart something from the ground up when I'm 30? Like, that just doesn't happen. You know? That just doesn't fucking happen. If I'm gonna do it, it's just fucking right now. Like, right fucking now. I'm 25. I don't have, like, a family, kids. Like, so all in the streaming and just see what it does. So, so that's what I decided. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna fucking live in, live in an apartment. Cost fucking like a small ass apartment. Don't need much money to survive. Just need enough money for food and to pay for internet. And just stream 60 hours a week. Upload 
upload seven YouTube videos a week for the next year. See how it goes. Like two years later, man. Oh, fucking hell. I don't know, man. Could not have even imagined. I think a lot of people like don't realize that like they, they just push it off like a year, two years, five years because it's easy to, right? I don't realize like the time is fucking now. Time is fucking now. My monk's gonna die to this rogue, I think. Cloak of Shadows, trying to feel for him. He's way to crane. He has evasion though. Sheep it. True now. Search for the hunter. Hunter should die here. Yeah. I think, like, you, you guys, a lot of you guys in the chat probably saw the saw the clip when I got super emotional after hitting a thousand subs on Twitch. Cause like to me, that meant like after thousands of hours of streaming and, and, and so many years of putting into the platform or putting into content creation or putting into something, when we hit a thousand subs, I mean, it's arbitrary, it doesn't actually matter. But to me that felt like, it was, a, it was a, just a big moment. It felt like, wow. We actually put on all this effort and, and gambled on on this on this thing and and tried so hard and then actually Zarn, like the biggest bomb like turned into something like it, it, I don't know it just meant so fucking much. Whereas with other streamers, you just like don't give a fuck, you know, or like they'll blow up overnight. So it, like the, the the meaning of like the hard work of like years of streaming and then like slowly getting there wasn't quite the same or something, you know. Yo, Killer Cam Live, thanks for the Twitch Prime man. Sixty-seven subscribers tonight. That was an emotional stream, yeah. I remember that, dude. That was, that was super emotional for me. But, like, that, I mean, that's, like, the backstory, man. Like, all the fucking haters telling me not to stream. All the fucking people telling me I should work a normal job. All the fucking people that were trying to put me down. When we hit a thousand subs, all of it just, like, flashed before my eyes. And it's like, you know what I mean? It's just, like look like look what we fucking made here on the internet i look at my twitter account people tweeting and my discord the fucking twitch chat and there's just an entire community of people that like come to hang out each night that like wouldn't be here if we didn't like make this community like that's fucking crazy to me i don't know man fucking crazy touch death did zero damage maybe because i was phased out i'm not sure who the fuck are they yeah I think it was like a liberating moment for me, like two liberating moments. One, when I was like, when I when I took myself seriously and I was like, look, I'm, I'm fucking graduated from college. I'm a human and I can do anything I fucking want. World's my oyster type mindset, like any fucking thing. If anyone else has achieved it, I can achieve it. Or if no one else achieved it, I can still achieve it. I can do any fucking thing I want. Like that was the first mindset. Like it was like a mind shift of like, oh, I'm a kid. Ha ha ha. I'm going to fuck around to like, no, I'm an adult fucking can do anything any fucking thing I want. Um, so that was like the first. And the second thing was just like letting go of what anyone fucking said. Family members, friends, like people like, oh, I, oh you should take that drop. That's a real nice offer. Like not caring what anyone fucking thought. But with the, you know, in the back of my head, like, okay, if, if streaming fails then that's on me, right? Like I can't like, you know, that's on me, right? If, if, if this thing doesn't go the way I want it to, then that's on me, you know? Being able to take a loss, being able to take the L and just be like, all right, fuck, whatever. But like, one, realizing it's my, it's my fucking life and I'm up to bat and I can do whatever the fuck. And then two, realize it's all on me. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. We either do this thing and, and it's successful and it's great or we do this thing and we fucking lose. But like, it's still a learning experience. 
and I had fun doing it. So like, I don't know. Those two realizations I think changed a lot for me. How do you feel about WoW stagnating? Um, my stream is doing better now than it has ever done. So I think, I hope the state of WoW doesn't affect my stream as much as it has in the past. I, I really hope so. Like I don't, I mean you guys probably know this, I don't care that much about like ranked PvP, or at least as much as I used to. I care about getting the best guides out I can get to you guys, getting the best content out, doing shit that's like actually entertaining and fun. Um, I think at the end of the day, that's one of my goals in 2019 is to become less and less reliant on WoW and the state of WoW and create more and more of a personal brand, you know, create great content so that people want to watch even if it's not WoW, right? People want to watch even if it's fucking just chatting and there's no game or people want to watch if it's fucking watching random videos or people want to watch if it's fucking Hearthstone or whatever other game I want to play or whether it's IRL content or whether it's handstand shit, gym shit, like whatever. People just want to just tune in because it's a community. That's that's my goal for 2019. Or just not, 2019 is arbitrary, but just going on in the future is, that's what I'm working on, right? Definitely. You made it, man. I still don't think about it like that. Like, you made it. Like, I don't think about it as like, because when you say you've made it, then at that point, you, you, you put yourself on some type of pedestal, like saying like, it brings in the ego of like, I made it to this place like i don't have any intention of stopping grinding or, or, or pushing you know different limits or different things that i want to do or try because i don't know i like doing what i'm doing right i like I, I i like it right so it's not like oh i made i, I don't know i just don't i don't think about it like that that's not the mindset like oh i made it People who trash streamers are insecure and jealous, I would ignore them. Furthermore, I think people who trash anyone is insecure. Um, I don't know what type, you know, I don't know about jealousy, but maybe insecure, maybe jealous. But at the end of the day, if you are taking the time and energy to, to shit on someone else, what does that say about where you are at as a person, right? When is the last time I've shit talked someone? I can't even fucking remember. Like, why would I take the time to actually shit talk someone. I'm fucking happy doing what I'm doing. Why would I want to bring someone else's life down? When is the last time I've shit, I, I can't even fucking remember. What does that say about someone who's shit talking someone? I don't even think it's about streamers. I think that's a general fucking thing about life. If you're bringing other people down instead of, instead of pushing other people up or adding to society in some way, like, what does that say about you, right? What does that say about the person shit talking they're just not happy with their life right so yeah i would take i would take that another step further another 10 steps further I, oh, by the way, just as a as a as a public service announcement, I, I don't think I think there's a difference between playfully telling your best friend, "Haha, you're fucking shit," you know, or like just like telling someone the fuck up. Like, there's a difference between playing around and fucking around, and there's a difference between actually bringing someone down. Huge difference, right? So I, I mean, if you're just fucking chilling online with your friends and like just having some friendly banter, I think that's a lot different than uh you know, actually commenting, like, 
like, I don't know, commenting on a YouTube video is saying like, you're fucking shit, I'm gonna delete your channel. Like what? Like that's just showing straight up insecurity, right? Or, uh, I mean, I mean, as, as a, as a live streamer, YouTuber, I get that shit all the time, right? That shit blows my mind. But I think it's, I don't think it's just in that profession. I think it's, I think it's everywhere.